Julie, Israel says in a series of raids, it targeted the uh, drone's mobile launcher as well as uh, defensive systems in Syria operated by both the Syrian government as well as Iran. Now, the Israeli military says its aircraft uh, were met with massive anti-aircraft fire. During the attack, one of its F-16s was downed on the Israeli side of the border. The two pilots on board ejected. One, though, was seriously wounded. This appears to be the first time an Israeli aircraft was shot down since the Second Lebanon War, which was more than three decades ago. Residents in Damascus cheered the news. Syrian officials claimed more than one Israeli plane was hit. Israel says the assault was in retaliation for an Iranian drone that infiltrated Israeli airspace. Israel released video of what it says is the drone being blown out of the sky by an Apache helicopter. Iran would not confirm the Israeli claim, the Iran foreign ministry calling it ridiculous. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says there's no doubt who was responsible for that drone infiltration. This morning, Iran brazenly violated Israel's sovereignty. They dispatched an Iranian drone from Syrian territory into Israel. And this demonstrates that our warnings were 100% correct. Israel holds Iran and its Syrian host responsible for today's aggression. We will continue to do whatever is necessary to protect our sovereignty and our security. Israel is now asking the uh, U.N. Security Council to condemn what it is calling this Iranian act of provocation. Meanwhile, now, Russia, which has troops in, in Syria supporting the regime, uh, regime of Bashar al-Assad, has issued a statement through its foreign ministry saying that, quote, we urge all parties to exercise restraint and to avoid actions that could lead to an even greater complication of the situation. And underscoring just how tense the situation was today, Israel, for a brief period of time, shut down operations at Ben-Gurion Airport, the country's main airport, because there was concern that Syria and or its allies could launch missile attacks from the north. Operations at the airport have now resumed, but the situation here continues to remain tense. Julie? All right, David. Thank you very much. A day after losing one of their F-16s to Syrian air defense missiles, Israel issuing a strong warning this Sunday. Major General Yoel Strick quoted in the Times of Israel saying, Iran wants to establish a forward operating base in Syria whose goal is attacking Israel. We will not allow it. With that, let's bring in Benjamin Netanyahu's spokesman, David Keyes. David, nice to see you as always. Uh, Forgive, forgive me, but doesn't Iran already have a forward operating base in Syria and one in Lebanon called Hezbollah? Well, Hezbollah is a real threat, but what we've seen Iran attempt to do over the previous months and the previous years is to increase their presence right along Israel's border. And uh, as the general said, we will simply not allow that to happen. So Everywhere that Iran is present in the Middle East, we find death and destruction, whether it's mass death in Syria, whether it's support for Hamas and Hezbollah, what, what whether are the, it's what chance are the red, of death what are the to red Israel. Lines? What, are, what are the red lines for Israel? When you say we will not allow it, what brings Israeli military action? Well, first of all, we won't allow ourselves to be fired upon. And any time we are fired upon, we will respond in kind. Israel won't allow the transfer of heavy weaponry from Iran through Syria to Lebanon. And Israel won't allow Syria to become a forward operating base of the Iranian regime, a regime which openly calls for Israel's destruction, within, which inscribes its missiles with Israel will be wiped out. We simply have to take these threats seriously, even if some other people don't. Well, in, in the right-hand side of the screen, so the viewers know what we're watching, we're watching gun sight video, both from Israeli Apache helicopters shooting down the drone that came into Israel yesterday, and then the video of the bombing in retaliation over and over again. Uh, I know you may not uh, admit to it, but Israel has been bombing targets inside Syria for a couple of years now to prevent those transfers of heavy weapons, but you've never lost an F-16 in the process. This is what Hezbollah has to say. It says, this is the beginning of a new strategic error which puts an end to the violation of Syrian airspace and territory, talking about them being able to shoot down uh, that F-16. Are they right? Do military tactics have to change? Is there concern about Israeli air superiority? 
This is not a new strategic era. Their capabilities have increased, but so has Israel's. And Israel had a very serious and very significant retaliation to this unprovoked attack. But I think it sheds light on a deeper problem of Iran. Iran is attempting to take over not only the Middle East, but as the head of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard said, they're on the path to the rule of Islam worldwide. And that's the goal of Iran, the total domination uh, of by radicals, the total subversion of democracy. And that's why it's so important that Americans and Europeans and people all over the world understand the nature of this regime. On the one hand, they say they're moderate, but since the nuclear deal has been signed, right. we've seen a marked increase in Iran's aggression, in Iran's death, in its destruction, and its support for terrorism worldwide. Well, and, and also its, it's willingness to project power uh, as well. The one thing we haven't talked about is Russia. They're really con in control of Syria. They're certainly the ones behind Bashar Assad's uh, survival over the past couple of years. That Israeli F-16 was brought down by Russian-made surface-to-air missiles. I know your boss, the prime minister, talked to President Putin yesterday. What they say, what assurances have been given to you by the Russians uh, that they're not going to allow Iran uh, to continue to operate? Well, they had a very good conversation, and military cooperation between the two states uh, continues, and that cooperation has prevented uh, many tragedies from occurring, so it's important for Israel's national interest. But we've never for one second, one second taken our eye off the ball, which is that the Iranian regime's attempts to colonize the Middle East, to take over Syria, to bring in Shiite uh, 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 right, militias, but, uh, uh, to support Hezbollah David, Hezbollah David, I understand this, but I, I got I to gotta, I gotta, I gotta button this up. If Syria has air defense missiles that can bring down Israeli planes, that's a real threat to Israeli national security and your ability to stop the group you're just talking about in Iran. Is there going to be a push by the Israeli government to tell the Russians, you've got to pull some of this uh, top-notch hardware back? Well, uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu and President Putin have had many good conversations on this topic, and we continue to express our red lines. But it must be said that the command and control structure that actually launched this drone was okay. run by Iran, and that's why Israel had no choice but to take out those command and control structures, and will continue to levy heavy responses against any provocation, against any rocket and missile attacks, against any terrorism aimed at Israel. In, in, in reports, at least, that yesterday took out a lot of the Syrian air defense network. Uh, conceivably, those targets were pre-picked. Uh, David, appreciate you being with us, as always, sir. Thank you so much. In the early hours of Saturday morning, Syria's war escalated to a new level. For the first time in 30 years, Israel lost a fighter jet to enemy fire as Israel confirmed Syrian air defense shot at one of its F-16 fighter jets. The Israeli Prime Minister was blunt. Israel holds Iran and its Syrian host responsible for today's aggression. We will continue to do whatever is necessary to protect our sovereignty and our security. The crash followed the shooting down of a drone. Israeli army video shows what they say is an Iranian drone flying towards the northern Golan Heights before it was down. In retaliation, the Israeli Air Force hit targets in Syria, including the suspected drone command center, Iranian targets and Syrian air defense. Syria launched surface-to-air missiles during the Israeli raid and says it shot down the F-16, which crashed in northern Israel. The Syrian political leadership took a decision at the highest level to face decisively any Israeli military aircraft over Syrian airspace. Today Syria did what it promised by downing an Israeli plane and striking at other planes. This is clear for Syria. It is a decisive decision to confront the Israeli Air Force and its careless behaviour. Both pilots ejected and parachuted to the Israeli side of the border. One is critically injured. The Israeli army spokesman said Iran was behind the launch of the drone, but didn't say whether it was armed or not. Now, the Iranians have reacted. They've said uh, that they are going to stand with Syria against any foolishness by Israel. Uh, the Russians have also reacted, saying that Israel needs to respect uh, Syrian state, state sovereignty. Also, what we're hearing is that the Israelis want to send a strong message uh, to uh, the Russians to get Iran out of the region. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera, West Jerusalem.